Oh, there's do, pirates. Get them. We can do pirate combat, too. Pirate combat's good. Pirate combat involves all of us. I feel like it'd be pretty sick. Get to juice up your level, give you some, like, boons and stuff. Mm hmm I get a legendary action. <laughs> it's going to be fireball. And I would take metamagic adept for sorcerer and then take a uh, subtle spell so that you couldn't uh, counterspell it. I mean, we have to choose the Iconoclast one. It's true, too. Somebody did blow that guy's brains out. Dude, I love that, like, this game gives, like, when you're dealing with, like, powerful guys like this, they give you, like, the two versions of Game of Thrones where, like, you can pick this option and be dumb like fucking Ned Stark, or you can be like everyone else in the show and be like, that's crazy that everyone just keeps dying around me. <laughs> I, I can't believe this keeps happening. Yeah, or you can just call them out and be like, okay, well... Now you're next. You should at least uh, talk to him about his fucking wares so we can activate it from the ship. Fuck oh, the let's go guns. talk to, Save. uh... Our well, we uh, he's got a heavy bolter we could buy eventually. Oh, hey, look at that. Give us... That's cool. That's not a lot of faction reputation, though. That's not it's nothing, some. though. It can be once you get to, like, I mean, the higher levels. To I mean, start, considering it's rank one is 5200 I can promise nothing I know you can't but it would be really cool <laughs> I'm just letting you know it's really gonna be pretty cool it'd be a lot cooler if you hey, did hold on have you talked to the fucking mechanicus guy over here yeah okay. I mean he's got a, a really good plasma pistol and a heavy plasma gun but that's way later that's what I mean there's nothing we could get right now oh hey Henrix the hell good captain Mr. Interrogator? This dude's a dick. I love him. There's not many people that theoretically outrank a rogue trader. How do you how do you become an inquisitor? Uh fucking dude, I don't even know, like honestly. <laughs> oh, he basically starts at birth. <laughs> that, that would make sense. You get born you into the Inquisition? No, so there's a school, a very specific school, on Terra itself that most of the Inquisitors are drawn from, and it's basically like the Academy. Oh, is where... it like fucking 40k Harvard? Yeah, we're like Titan pilots, um, Inquisitors, specific psychers, all members of the Assassin Officio Assassinorum are pulled from this one school. Commissars. And they get very special training, and it's very, they started very young, and then they go in their respective discipline, and they're kind of like drafted. Do people know this? Or is that just yeah. something that happens? Well, kind the, of. Isn't the the kids don't really know it. People know that the school exists, and that's usually how it happens, but nobody that's not born on Terra really knows about it, or really knows anything about the Imperium. As well, they shouldn't. I forget what the school's called, but it's a it's a very special set of schools, not just on Terra, that usually Inquisitors are pulled from. But oh, so it's forty uh, k Oxford then. That makes sense. Yeah, Florida, Florida State University. But Inquisitors Maybe. also gather retinues, and within those retinues, uh, people can rise to become an Inquisitor if they take an apprentice. So there are many ways to do it. I wish I was high on pot news. But that's very cool, thank you. <laughs> I love my silly helmet. Look at uh, look at Abelard's helmet. Yeah, holy shit, he looks like a fucking transformer. <laughs> yeah. He looks like a fucking lancer, dude. Cassie is basically telling us that all of the warp routes have absolutely changed and that we don't have a working map. That's a problem. Yeah, yeah warp but... storms have changed everything. It did too. Dude, I love that the fucking our Gentra's like whole thing is like, dude, it's a shame that all my problems can't be solved by shooting it with a fucking <laughs> bolter. She's right, though. I mean, honestly, if your problem can't be solved by shooting it once, it might be able to be solved by shooting it more than once. Yeah, you can shoot it a couple times with the bolter. That might fix the problem. Boxmaster Vigdis. So, he's basically going down a list. We have three worlds that are under our protection. Janus is an agri world. Kieva Gamma is a manufactorum, and Dargonis is the administrative hub. So our goal right now is to check on all three. Ah, where should we go first? That's a fucking two. All three of those are important fucking worlds. Yeah, let's go Janus first. Food sounds important. Um, uh, there are. Do we care about <laughs> companion quests? 
Uh, I mean, I guess with the ones we're using, probably. I mean, I would be down to do them if I have context of what's going on. It's a lot of, like, just talking to them in private on the ship. Oh, dude, did you, uh... His, hold up. Fucking... Jay uses shuriken pistols? Yeah. Dude, we should have fucking killed her right there. Yes, but not... We have an option to still. You could just you... tell Heinrichs at any time, like, hey, kill any three of these companions. <laughs> Wait, and, really? And That's he'll happily do it. Actually. Give me that sweet experience, baby. I feel like that lore Imperium kind of speaks to itself, is that they're clearly not just a chaos cult. Are you laying an accusation against my dynasty that I acquired, like, a week ago? So Heinrichs is basically not only laying out the fact that he's investigating all of this, and that Theodora really walked the line of her warrant, but he also needs to meet with someone uh, on one of the worlds. Yeah, I mean, I'm cool with doing companion quests, assuming they're the ones we're using. Which becomes easier when, you know, there's only three of them. Heinrichs needs to get to Kiava Gamma, which is our manufactorum world, which is controlled mainly by the Mechanicus. Oh, yeah. I bet you fucking old Pascal has something to do there, too. Um, Mr. Pascal. I don't think he's actually necessary to take, but it is good to have him. I mean, yeah. There's Lord Captain's personal cogitator. That just shows the role of names who are early supporters. Lord Inquisitor's personal cod piece. Greetings, Lord Captain. We also got the DLC cape now. That gives plus five to all characteristics if you're at full room. I'm gonna give that to fucking. Oh, Johnny, actually, you should rock that. Greetings. Why do I need that? What does it do? Yes, Plus five to I'm all ready. characteristics if you're at full wounds. Oh, shit, we banging our gents on the throne? Hell yeah. What's happening? Right in front of the uh, Emperor's blood, too. How nuts would it be if she just exploded right now? <laughs> <laughs> Bolter in her face. <laughs> She was originally assigned to protect the Reverend that we just spoke to. Lady Around Theodora us. appeared. Yeah. And Argenta went with Lady Theodora um, to a special planet, Salus Prime, uh, where Argenta the Living Sate, whom she's named after, um, died millennia ago. So she thought she was on this holy quest, essentially. Sure. That makes sense. Um, but when she got there, she was the only survivor from Theodore's retinue because they were attacked by heretics. Huh. She also kept it from Reverend uh, because she thought it was her pilgrimage to do. The one star is the relic of St. Argenta that she was trying to find. Uh, nobody knows what it is specifically. I bet it's cool. Uh, they were listening on a heretic shrine, something about Lord, Edge of Daybreak, which is tied to the chaos cult stuff we've been dealing with and then she's worried that she's the one who brought chaos around the ship i mean that is a possibility if we're being honest could be us though also a possibility could be us though i mean we're the ones that showed up randomly and then suddenly there was chaos all over the place you know maybe we should have went heretic maybe that was our destiny the whole time she Oops. wants us to track down that relic well, yeah. Oh, well, we're gonna have In our travels. We're gonna track down the relic. I hope it's like a heavy flamer. <laughs> <laughs> the relic is just a heavy bolter. Fucking blast unfortunate sun as I fucking flamethrower enemies down the street. Uh, we got some mobile extractiums. We have five Wait of those now, I believe, right? I think six. Oh, Jesus Christ, what is... What the fuck? Oh, you haven't seen this map yet. No. Welcome to an owl, owl cat game. What you see here is the initial warp roots. Let me show you the whole map. Dude, this is gigantic. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it took Mac and I like six hours to get to the first like three warp roots. Uh, so, would you guys like to go straight for the agri world or do you want to bounce around? Keeping in mind that uh, doing the whole bounce around thing, there's not a lot of party involvement. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, just do it quickly. We can do it quickly. I do want to get to... I want him to experience the uh, void ship. Oh, there's do, pirates. Get them. We can do pirate combat, too. Pirate combat's good. 
Bar combat involves all of us. Ooh, Fight save the of the rogue the any key. Drakari sticks in your holes. I right, dude, they'll stick something in you. Mozilla cannon. Are we still not? That works I'm not sure why it does that. Why what does what? Oh, why we're that... not there? Yeah, like the portraits aren't there. I mean, we are theoretically there, right? I mean, we must be. Yeah, because no, the... we don't have a shield master equipped, though. I think. It could just be the portraits don't show up, and that we don't have, like, skills in the slot yet. Oh, you know what? You should make, uh, Jay the fucking Supreme Commander. She has a torpedo ability that allows us to control torpedoes on the same- Oh, hey, fucking, yep. Hell yeah. Rip that guy. <laughs> uh, but Jay has an ability that allows you to control torpedoes on the first turn you summon them. Like, literally as soon as you summon it. Seems pretty good. It's pretty, good. pretty strong. Oh, oh, that guy's fucking Well, he dead. gets to he get lands. Lined up. Someone shoot him. Wait. Oh, yeah. Shoot him. Bang. Oh, that one's running too. Time has come. I mean, if you just saw two of your friends get fucking iced, I mean. Dude's, dude really screamed, I have come. No, they're gone. Wait We're a minute. Wait. Fight master, if you please. Get him. We can. Can we, can we void ship ram? No. No. Possible. You do that in the first Dark phase. The Blessed are the faithful. Oh. Yeah, void ship battles get kind of crazy later on, and I've oh, learned that the bigger the ship is, the more you want to stay behind them. That makes sense. Um, I know there is one thing that I saw where one of the worlds that you can, like, upgrade, um, you can get a second ship? Yeah. I don't know what that is. I've been very curious, but I didn't uh, click that ever. I mean, it has to be like, it's the Maw, right? Like, it, you can't even go through it because it's like closed. It's possible. So we want Adamantine. That's probably pretty good, right? Adamantine's pretty good. Ask the yes. old hermit for his blessing. He's a old navigator. Oh, navigator. Yeah. Been here for a while. Good for him. Ooh. Go to the ship. What's that about? That's a Hulk, dude. Is this what I think it is? And this is, it's the one in the next one. Ah. Uh. Actually, no. No, this is what you think it is. All right, never mind. I'm dumb. Oh, here we fucking go. Hey, are you ready we for let... the next two hours of your life? 